Hello friends, I'm Timur, and today I want to tell you about Evolution, New World, and the basics of the game rules. Let's get started. About the game. In the Evolution New World game, players create animals and grant them new traits that help survive an ever-changing environment. Over the course of six epochs, animals evolve and seek food. The most unprepared animals will extinct or become prey to predators, while the strongest and the fittest will bring victory points at the end of the game. Game Setup First, you need to shuffle the deck of area cards. Deal six cards face down on the table in a stack. Then, deal area cards equal to the number of players face up in a row on the table. Place the die and food, both red and blue, tokens, fat and shelter tokens near the row of area cards. Shuffle the evolution cards, lizard, on the back and deal six cards face down to each player. Then player decides who will be the first player and give them the first player token. Gameplay During the game, players take turns creating new animals and improving existing ones, providing them food and even hunting other players' animals. At the end of the game, players count victory points for all their surviving animals and their traits to determine the winner. The game lasts for six epochs, that is, game rounds, and each round in turn is divided into four phases. Development Phase In this phase, players take turns playing one card from the hand. If a player cannot or does not want to, they pass. As soon as all the players pass, the development phase is coming to an end. When playing a card, a player has two options. First, they can create a new animal by playing a card in their playing area face down, so that the lizard on the back of the cards looks at the center of the table. A player can have as many animals as they want, but they all must be located in one line. At any point during this phase, a player may freely change the locations of their animals within the row, except for those linked by paired traits. Secondly, a player can add a new trait to any of their animals by placing a card under the existing animal face up. Each evolution card has two traits, a main trait and a short trait. The only difference between them is that the descriptions of short traits are provided in the reference guide, not on the card. When adding new traits, the following rules must be remembered. A paired trait must be played to two adjacent animals at the same time by placing the card on top of both animals it will affect. An animal may not have two of the same traits. Exceptions, fat tissue and pair traits that are linked to two different adjacent animals. Traits cannot be exchanged or discarded except by using the effects of traits. And so, having dealt with the creation and growth of animals, let's move on to the next phase. Areas Phase in this phase, players get to know exactly how much food and shelter will be available to animals during this epoch. To begin with, players add a new area, placing the top card from the area stack face up on the left side of the area card's row. Thus, there will be one more area card than the number of players. Now, for each area, it is necessary to place food and shelter tokens on each area card. Please note that there are double area cards, with one area available to all animals and another available to animals with specific traits. Having placed all the necessary tokens, the players move on to the next phase. Feeding Phase The feeding phase is an important part of the game because every player tries to feed all their animals. The feeding phase starts with the first player and continues clockwise until all players have passed. A player passes only if they are unable to perform any of the basic actions. As soon as all players pass, the phase ends immediately. During this phase, a player may perform one of three actions. Search for shelter, feed from an area, attack with a predator. To search for shelter, a player chooses one of their animals and takes a shelter token from an area that animal has access to. An animal may only have one shelter token. Shelter gives complete protection from predators. Nothing allows predators to ignore shelter. Hungry animals can feed from areas. Usually to be fed, an animal needs just one food token. An animal is considered fed and cannot feed anymore if it has enough food tokens on its card. Some traits, however, make the animal hungrier so that the animal needs more food tokens to be considered fed. To feed in the area, a player chooses one of their hungry animals and any applicable area where there is food and places one red food token from there on the animal. 
If it is still hungry, then the player will be able to feed it again on their next turn. Attack with a predator action can only be performed if one of the player's animals has the carnivorous trait. Hungry predators may take food from areas as usual or attack other animals and consume them. A player can even attack their own animals with their predators. After selecting a target, the player rotates the carnivorous card showing that the animal hunted this round. If the attack is a success, the predator consumes the target, takes two blue food tokens from the supply and the target animal and all its traits, including paired traits, are discarded. The main thing to remember is that a predator cannot attack animals with shelter tokens as well as animals with protective traits that prevent them from being attacked. It can target another predator though. Now a little bit about the areas. Some areas are not available for all animals. Some of them have additional conditions. For example, only nocturnal animals may feed in the caves, which means less competition for them. After feeding all the animals they can, the players proceed to the next phase of the epoch. Extinction Phase This phase completes the epoch and determines which animals will become extinct and which will not. At the beginning of the phase, various traits that animals possess are triggered, for example, hibernation, poisonous or fat tissue. Next, all hungry animals die and their cards are discarded along with their trait cards, including paired traits. If this was not the last epoch, then all the food and shelter tokens are removed from the animals. New epoch means new challenges. Also, the rightmost area card is discarded, and all rotated evolution cards are returned back to their vertical position. Starting with the first player, each player draws cards from the evolution deck equal to the number of animals they have, plus two additional cards. After all players have drawn, any player with more than six cards must choose which cards to discard to have no more than six cards in their hand. The first player token is passed to the next clockwise player. About Evolution Cards In Evolution New World, it is crucial to combine the animals in the most efficient way, just like in real nature. Dozens of different traits, each with a unique effect, affect different aspects of the game and allow players to create the animals they want to create. Some traits allow animals to get more food, for example to steal it or even gain food when an animal is killed as a result of a predator's attack. Other traits let players create predators able to hunt cunning herbivores or vice versa to find various ways to save the animal from becoming someone's dinner. Pair traits help animals feed in packs or protect each other from attacks. A huge number of different traits help to create animals that are really different to each other. Game End After six epochs, when there are no more area cards left in the area stack, the game ends. Players feed their animals, and the animals extinct as usual, but then players proceed to scoring. Each player counts their victory points, plus three VPs for each surviving animal, plus one VP for each trait their surviving animals possess and additional victory points for some traits. The player with the highest number of victory points is declared the winner. Thanks for watching our video. Now you know what Evolution New World is. And with that, I say goodbye to you and wish you a pleasant game.